you know what we're doing? We, what we're doing as a society, we are we are castrating the populace in lieu of being taken care of by mommy and daddy, which is the government. That is absolutely proven to be ridiculously corrupt throughout all of its years, but we're going to rely on them for bailouts and, and taking care of us as opposed to doing our own thing, starting our own businesses and taking care of ourselves. That's good. That's, that's a great idea. That's, 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 that's a great idea. We'll do that. Let's go. Let's, let's just do that. <laughs> What's up? Um, I woke up this morning and I don't know if I have been, had my head in the sand under a rock on a different planet for the past, I don't know, 10 years of my life. But what I'm just seeing in, in this, in this world and with people and their stupidity and what is considered okay and, and normal that is not normal is just, it's just blowing my mind at this point. I, I woke up and there's a guy with a knife who was advancing on police officers who asked him over and over and over to put the knife down. And they shot him when he didn't put the knife down and continued advancing. He's dead. And there's people rioting about this. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand what is going on with our nation and our society as a whole. If I have a knife and I am advancing towards you and you have a gun, I would fully believe and hope that you are a sentient thinking creature enough to fire upon me and to kill me. But yet we have people rioting about this and protesting the police over this, which is mind boggling to me. And it just, it plays into the narrative of everything else going on in this world that I just, I can't seem to wrap my head around. For example, all these different genders. I am completely about freedom of speech, completely about your right to do what you want and to think what you want and to whatever, but to be jamming it down everybody's throats as if it is absolutely unacceptable that they don't accept you is crazy to me. If, if I want to identify with a toaster oven, that's my own issue. And, and I, I absolutely... If I identify with a toaster oven and I want to walk around with a toaster oven on my head, that's my right. Um, it's also your right to look at me and go, that fellow is kind of weird. And it is not within the realm of reality that I should have to force, that I should be allowed to force you to identify me as a toaster oven and you will plug me in wherever I go and, and, and feed me toast. I, that is fucking asinine. Like, I don't understand how we are doing this. People are identifying with animals to the extent where they want to, to not even be a human. And they were an animal in a past life, so they are, they, they want to identify with the animal to then come across. I, I don't even know. I don't know. Maybe you need a butt plug with a tail. I, I don't, <coughs> I have no idea. <clears throat> I am absolutely not politically correct, by the way, if, if you couldn't tell from this video, and I'm not going to be. I, I, I know part of the reason my YouTube videos don't reach a larger audience is because of the fact that I swear, and because of the fact that I talk about some stuff like in this show, and because of the fact that I talk about building your life and becoming successful and going against the status quo and going against the grain and doing this and doing that. And apparently I am just making the wrong type of videos if I want to go anywhere on YouTube because all of that stuff does not translate. When you swear, YouTube literally has an algorithm for the people who get so fucking butt hurt that somebody is using words in a way that they do not deem desirable and they can't handle swears and everything else and they need their fucking safe spaces to function in a society that was built by men and is now surrounded by pussies. Like, I don't understand what is taking place in our society that is making all of this okay. I mean, there are grown adults. This is just a giant rant, if you can't tell. But I just, I woke up just 
with my head in just blown by what I'm seeing in this world. And it's, it's, this has been coming for like months, but there's adults on social media fighting in comments. And these adults are not, they're not like, 20-something, 30-year-old adults, which is debatable how much growth and maturity there's been there, but these are like 40, 50, 60-year-old people who are getting into it in the comments on Facebook for the, the, for the catacombs of the world to be able to look up in, in the catacombs of history of the internet and to be able to see their idiocy as they're fighting with their neighbors about everything like and just talking shit to one another taking everything completely out of context and bickering like like not even middle school elementary school elementary school kids calling each other names and doing this and doing that and these are the adults these are the adults that are raising the communities of kids from broken homes because nobody knows how to stay together any longer and everything is a swipe right swipe left society and these are the adults who are having children. <laughs> why are they breeding? I, I don't understand why they're breeding. I don't get it. Why are these adults having having kids? Having kids. I have to get in the right lane right now. Swipe right, right lane. Um, I don't understand why, why these people are having kids. I know so many people on a relative personal level whose relationships are garbage and they try to have a kid to fix shit. We'll stay together because we're having a kid. Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> like, it's just mind blowing to me. It is mind blowing what is okay. And it's like, what is it? 80% of women would prefer a man who has an average to dad bod body because they don't want to have to maintain themselves and feel like he is more attractive than them so they don't want to better themselves. So 80% of women, fucking eight out of 10, four out of five, four out of five women want a man who is subpar, who is basically a beta male bitch. So she feels safe in the relationship. Like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm literally fogging up my windshield right now because I'm talking so much and I don't know how to undo this right now. Let's try, let's try this button. Okay. This is my new truck. I'm fucking learning how to, how to do shit. Let's see if that unfogs the windshield. Um, what else? What else is going on in this wondrous world of ours? Um, we've got, okay. Okay. We've got for a presidential election. We've got a presidential election going on right now. The candidates are are debatably um, questionable. But we've just had Biden, supposedly some laptop, fell into the hands of a computer store. And the guy who was fixing the computer fixed the computer. The son of Biden supposedly dropped it off. And there's all this information on this computer of which is coming to light. Information that is very indicative of deals being done with other countries that are illegal and leverage being used from <laughs> leverage being used from people who are in our political party to make things happen in these other countries and to use all different types of essentially extortion and everything else. On top of that, pedophilia allegations that are surfacing on this laptop and many other things, many other things. And the thing is, I was talking with a buddy of mine who's an officer and he was telling me he thinks it's just a smoke screen and it's just a smoke screen because he's like, how the hell could people be this fucking stupid? If you have this much incriminating evidence and such on a laptop, how is it getting into hands? How is it getting into the hands of a computer store owner? Because these people are multi, multi, multi millionaires. They're extremely smart. They're brokering deals, international deals of which they are broken, bro brokering between uh, 
These, <laughs> I can't even focus because it's so ridiculous. These people are brokering international deals and they're stupid enough to drop a laptop off and leave it there for however many months so that all their information gets out and about just before the presidential election. It's like, does that make any sense to you? Does that make any sense to you? Because that doesn't make any sense to me. Because number one, how are they that stupid? Number two, if they, if they, I, I highly doubt they're that stupid. So there's, there's, I feel like there's just another play going on behind the scenes. But let's pretend they are that stupid. Dude, what the fuck does the future hold? <laughs> like, I, I have no clue what the future holds if this is what is common and typical here. We have a, a highly debatable on where it came from viral issue in our community. And I'm just... I'm, personally, I think it's man-made. That's just me. I think it's man-made. I think it was made in a lab. I don't think this is something that magically came from bats and, and everything else that they're trying to say out of Wuhan. That's not what I believe. Regardless of what I believe, we've got some form of a viral issue going around. And I do know of people who have personally had it. I do know of people who have personally not had something that is just the flu. It is definitely something different where they lost their taste of, of uh, lost their sense of taste and they lost their ability to smell. So there is most definitely something real. Is it as bad as it's been made out to be? I do not believe that for a second. Does it affect different people differently? Sure. But does it constitute people driving around in cars that I have personally seen where not only do they have a mask, they have a mask in a car by themselves, but they also have a face shield, a, a face shield that's going across their forehead and it comes down, a face shield that you would think of while you were, I, I don't even know what they're used for, I, I don't know, cutting a body open and like blood splatter could hit, the, I, I don't know. And they're driving in a vehicle with the fucking windows up. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand this. It, it, it's very confusing to me. What's also confusing to me is when you wear a mask, especially in a car by yourself, just fart. Just, just, just fucking, just fart for a second because you're going to smell it. You're going to smell it and you're going to smell it because the particles of the, of the shit are literally going in your nose. That's why you smell a fart whether or not you have a mask on. So, the only thing a mask can potentially stop, which this is, this part is true, the only thing a mask is potentially stopping is the projectiles that come out of your mouth when you're speaking. That That's, that's what it's stopping. Because when you spit, when you talk and whatever, yes, there are projectiles that come out. Yes, it gets caught on the inside of the cloth, which is why if you go to the gym with a, with a, with a mask on, you are literally getting damp on the inside of the mask. That much is accurate, sure. But stopping from you breathing it in? No, <laughs> that's not what it's doing. That's absolutely not what it's doing. That's why you can smell things through the mask. But yet you're wearing this in a car with a face shield on, with the windows up, when you're by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I don't know, man. I don't know, but this is comic gold for comedians right now. That is, that's going on right there. And and this is this is this is people who think that these this stuff is good ideas. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, a guy made a business out of selling pet rocks, so I I, I guess I guess anything's possible. <laughs> and once again. I'm not saying that this virus doesn't exist. I'm not saying that people haven't died from it. I'm not saying anything like that. What I am saying is there's a lot of bullshit surrounding it. I literally have officer friends of mine who have arrived on scene and the person is dead. The person is dead. They died from impact. They are pronounced a COVID related death. Why? Because there's antibodies that were tested. That's not a COVID-related death. It's not a COVID-related death. They fucking died because they were driving 150 miles an hour and crashed into a brick wall. That is not COVID.
COVID related. And then on top of that, I have people who I speak with personally who work at hospitals. There are people who are being put on death certificates as if they're dying from COVID. And it is highly questionable if they're dying from COVID because some of them are not even being tested. So they have shortness of breath, fatigue, this, that, and the other, old age, and they die. The odds are if you're passing away from, from old age, you're probably pretty fatigued. You're probably shortness of breath. But the hospitals get paid. I don't know exactly how this works, but from what my understanding is, hospitals are getting $8,000 if people die from COVID. If the person dies and a respirator has been being administered, they get $35,000. What the fuck? (laughs) Like, you are incentivizing privately owned hospitals to lie with a substantial amount of money because most hospitals, if I'm not mistaken, are operating at a deficit. You're inciting these hospitals to lie about the COVID-related deaths. You're basically paying for liars. And this is okay. And the response to this on a on a economical level was to shut everything down. And then once even the numbers have come out that this is nowhere near as deadly as it was originally stated. And in fact, most people are asymptomatic and it's not transmitted by asymptomatic people. But the solution is to is to basically destroy our businesses, destroy our livelihoods because that's a good idea. And while our livelihoods are being absolutely eroded and businesses are being shut down and restaurants, I mean, we're heading into the winter. We're heading into the winter months now. I don't know. I don't know what these restaurants are going to do because already their business is, is more than halved. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to release stimulus packages of t- <laughs> It is, this is so ridiculous to me. We're going to release $1,200. $1,200 to the American people. Which is what was done. And they're going to release another one. $1,200. Do not get me wrong. It was, it was a help, right? It was a help for the people who were seriously fucked financially because nobody taught them about taking care of their finances at a younger age. Yes, it helped. What the fuck does $1,200 do? What, like, what does $1,200 do? I don't know what $1,200 does because I spend probably more than $1,200 a week. I, I don't, I don't know what it does. So you take away people's jobs and their ability to, to earn for themselves. You shut down businesses Business owners are, 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 are dying. People are committing suicide over this. Over a virus that, once again, is nowhere near, any, anywhere near as bad as, as was once thought. And you're going to give people $1,200 of hush money that creates trillions, trillions of dollars of debt to give everybody $1,200. So we've now got, we're adding to the balance sheets of our debt trillions of dollars. That has to be paid back, I believe at interest. I'd have to look again, but I'm pretty sure it's at interest. So you have to pay this back at interest. So effectively, you've given everybody $1,200. Now we're gonna have to raise the taxes to offset the stimulus package or whatever the hell financial fiscal bullshit that is gonna be doing, that is gonna magic, magic wand this into being worse than it was to do in the first place. And we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do that again with another stimulus package. (laughs) We've lost tens of thousands of dollars, but we're gonna give two stimulus packages totaling (laughs) $2,400. And we're we're gonna say that we can't kick anybody out. We can't kick any tenants out, which which is nice. We can't kick any tenants out. We can't kick any tenants out until such and such date. And we're going to put the 
landlords on notice that since you can't kick people out, maybe you could do forbearance, mortgage forbearance. But, be, but meanwhile, people are getting used to this way of life that the government's just going to bail them out. So we, we are, you know what we're doing? We, what we're doing as a society, we are, we are castrating the populace from being able to be men and, and, and the female equivalent in lieu of being taken care of by mommy and daddy, which is the government. That is absolutely proven to be ridiculously corrupt throughout all of its years, but we're going to rely on them for bailouts and and taking care of us as opposed to doing our own thing, starting our own businesses and taking care of ourselves. That's good. That's that's a great idea. That's that's, that's a great idea. We'll do that. Let's let's, let's just do that. (laughs) And, and, And then, and then, You've got the gun laws. You've got the gun laws and the people who are pushing for more gun control. And this is this is where I go like you you've got you've got fucking brain damage if you think that pushing more gun control is going to help anything. I I have never understood this argument in my life. I've never understood the narrative of how somebody can be intelligent to pretty much any level that they can be intelligent and think for a moment that putting more laws on guns is a good idea. And that gun control is going to change anything whatsoever. I, I have yet to understand how. How is that going to help? Because the law-abiding citizens are following the law and the unlawful citizens are not following the law. So if you put more laws, how the hell can you not see that it makes no difference for the unlawful person But it makes all the difference in the world for the person trying to defend their home, defend their family from the unlawful citizens who will pretty much have free reign in a gun-free zone. How? How do you not see that? How is that a good idea? I have no idea. For me to get a gun license in the state of Connecticut, it took me six, maybe eight months. I don't even remember. For me to get my gun license, it took like six to eight months of processing and sending things in and getting fingerprinted and doing this and sending money orders and, and... what the fuck else do we have? Taking a course, doing whatever. But if I wanted an illegal gun, it take I don't know, an hour? An hour, maybe? Like, I, I take a drive to Bridgeport. <laughs> like, if you know Connecticut, I take a drive to Bridgeport, and once in Bridgeport, I buy a gun! <laughs> like, that's, that's it! And it's like the only way that I can see that people are thinking these ways that this stuff is gonna help or that we need to defund the police and get rid of the police and give criminals really free reign. The only way is, is like, it's like Joe Rogan said. Joe Rogan basically, what did he say? Um, the biggest problems in regards to our society is that what? The stupid people are out fucking the smart people. Like, like, <laughs> no shit, <laughs> no shit. It's like idiocracy is not a movie. Idiocracy is a documentary, <laughs> and I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. It, it's like I do not know how a society has been bred to this point. I'm, I'm totally switching topics again. I don't know how a society has been bred to this point to accept such levels of mediocrity and to not strive towards excellence. You have one life, at least in this body. If you believe in reincarnation, which is debatable if that's true or not, if you believe in reincarnation, you have one life that you are currently living at least in this body. And for you not to strive for excellence means that you are striving for a life of regret. Like, the status quo is that people go to work, they work these jobs they hate, but they don't better themselves to move out of the job of which they hate. They make very low amounts of money. They have very little resources. They take to the internets, bitch on social media. They watch Netflix, they eat shit food, and they go to sleep. And that's what they're doing. (laughs) And like, I don't understand how that has been cultivated to the level that it's at. And the reason that I started this video saying I must have had my head in the sand under a rock on another fucking planet 
is because of the fact that when I was 22 years old, for some of you who have followed my story a little bit, when I was 22 years old, I ended up getting involved with a girl that was just toxic all around. And th these are all my decisions, by the way. I take responsibility for all of my decisions that landed me with all these consequences. But it was just something else nobody does anymore. We don't take responsibility for our, for our decisions because if we take responsibility for our decisions, then it's our fault and then we could fix them. Crazy fucking idea. But when I was, when I was 22 years old, I got involved with a girl who was incredibly toxic for my life. Incredibly toxic. While dating her, I ended up kicked out of my parents' house in all types of trouble, arrested, all different types of stuff. That relationship was toxic as fuck. And I ended up having all this fallout from it while dating this girl and having all this craziness take place. I become spiritually awakened at 23 years old, start like having psychic abilities and this, that, and the other. And then I end up, what the fuck else? I ended up kicked out of my house. I didn't have a place to live. And eventually I was able to scrounge together enough to get an apartment, lived in the apartment, built a business, had crazy shit going on in my life, tons of toxicity in that relationship, lots of issues, and ended up going down different paths and got arrested and had court problems and had whatever the hell and had to fight that in the meantime of building a business and becoming, you know, psychically awakened at 23 years old and freaking going down a, a whole business route of building a business till I was 26 and just focusing on that, surrounding myself by really driven people in regards to doing so and business owners and entrepreneurs and this, that, and the other. And then at 26, losing my business, going completely bankrupt without declaring bankruptcy from there landing on a porch, living on a porch for the next two years, building myself up from there, getting involved in, in solar, getting involved in everything else of which I'm doing, going from there and getting to the point of becoming somewhat financially free-ish and building myself to the levels of which I'm now currently at. And again, once again, surrounding myself by super driven people, this, that, and the other, da, 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 da but dealing with major health issues during the time of which doing so. So from the time I was 22 till feasibly six months ago, seven months ago, I don't know, when I really started to come out of the health problems and, and now basically functioning way better and this, that, and the other, I have effectively just been extremely focused on myself trying to both become successful and both get myself out of like the dredges that my life had become so and like health wise and stuff. So like for me, it's like I popped my head out of a freaking bunker <laughs> from the time I was 22 till like this year, sort of. So like 10 years and it's like, I, I just must be blind. I just must be blind to all of which that has been going on and brewing in the background because my friends are not doing this kinds of shit. My friends do not think like, my friends think like adults. How's that? My friends think like actual adults and they are not swayed by the media. They try to think for themselves. They try to like, the conversation that I have with my friends is not what I overhear in public. Like not by a long shot. <laughs> and it, it, it's like, I made the, the, the <laughs> I made the decision to try out freaking Tinder. <laughs> so this is just a long ass rant, but I made the decision to try out Tinder because my ex-girlfriend and I, we broke up about six months ago now, six, seven months ago. I don't know. Eight months ago. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while. And in the time of breaking up, I just went to work focusing on myself because I'm not really somebody who's driven by sex. I mean, sex is great, but I'm not really driven by it. For me, I am much more driven by like connection and like actually feeling something with somebody. And, and then, you know, everything else follows, intimacy follows and all that kind of stuff. And that's great. But it's like, for me, uh, I, I checked out Tinder and I'm just, it just blows my mind. 
chicks hit me up and they like give me their phone number in the first message. They're like, oh, I love your body. I love your truck. I love this. I love that. Da da da. You're fucking, I don't know. You're sexy as fuck. AF. And here's my number. Hit me up. And da da da. It's all about like hooking up. And I'm just like, I guess this is what people do now. And it's like, I, I guess that sounds like badass on the outside, I, I sort of. And it's just, but then in my head, I'm like, I look at so many people who are just, they, they, they're having kids with like people that's are like accidents and like this, that, and the other. And it's like, dude, I'm not asking for a fucking STD. Like how the fuck do people just fuck right off the bat of like meeting somebody? I, I don't even know how they do that. <laughs> I'm so weird. Apparently it, it just, I don't know how they're, how they do that where you just meet somebody and you're like, Hey, I know nothing about you. Can't trust you for shit. Maybe you have fucking herpes and all this other shit I got to worry about. But yeah, sure. Let me, let me put my dick in you. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe this is just a big ass awakening for me that this is how people are or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing on that past, Johnny. <laughs> So anyways, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just had, I just had to make this rant video. So <laughs> enjoy. Hope you like the video. If you like it, subscribe, leave a comment. I mean, what do you think? What do you think about this fucking world, dude? Cause I have not a clue as to what is going on at this point in our society and why everything is just so culturally acceptable. And we have adults acting like children and freaking, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Have a good day, everyone. Fucking subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Don't put me on your level. I am not like you. I'm not going to settle. Buddy, babe.